Good morning, my fellow scientists. It is Monday, April 3rd, 2017, and I'm going to talk to you about batteries. One, how do batteries work, and two, what can be done to make batteries better? So how does this work? You need some source of lithium ions, and that's going to be a graphite plate that we're going to call the anode. And at that graphite plate, you have lithium ions all intercalated within the sort of layers of flat graphite sheets. And those are pretty happy to be liberated as mobile lithium ions. In general, lithium wants to be mobile ions and not captured in some substrate. But to get rid of lithium ions, you also have to get rid of electrons. And those electrons have to go somewhere. So where are we going to put them? We're going to put them into the cathode, because that's where reduction happens. And at the cathode, we're going to run some other reaction. In this case, it's going to go from iron phosphate, FePO4, add an electron to balance the charge, and add lithium to the material, and you get lithium iron phosphate. Now, the problem is that you don't want electrons to cheat and get through the middle of the battery. You want them to go through your load. So you need some way to allow lithium through, but to prevent electrons. We're going to call that a separator membrane. So there you have it. You have your anode, where lithium comes from, your cathode, where lithium ions go, and you have a separator that prevents electrical shorting between them. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Dr. Allen, can I build a lithium battery now that you've told me the chemistry? And the answer is, well, probably not unless you have a glove box because most of these things are air sensitive and it's actually really painful to try to set up a lab to assemble this kind of battery. It's one of the reasons they're kind of expensive. The other reason is that lithium itself isn't exactly cheap or ubiquitous. So yeah, those kind of batteries are probably not something you're gonna assemble in your kitchen. Tomorrow, We'll start building an iron battery because iron is cheap, ubiquitous, and you can build an iron battery in your kitchen and not poison yourself or start any fires, probably. So tune in tomorrow. We'll talk more about batteries, battery technology, and how to build an iron battery here in the Allen.